CataractCoach.com, a conrad of IOLs. Could it really happen? I'm a consultant to LensGen makers of the Juvene. I just want three diopters. Accommodation declines with age. When we were a kid, is there an abundant amount of accommodation that declines rapidly. When you're 45 or 50, only a diopter two left. And you hit 65 or 70, almost no accommodation, plus you get cataracts. So to restore accommodation, we want to mimic a natural human lens. Axial movement, moving the optic front to back, only gives a diopter of accommodation for a whole millimeter movement. But curvature change is where it's at. We can get many diopters of accommodative amplitude by changing the curvature. So we want to mimic Mother Nature and mimic that natural crystalline lens. That'll give us the most accommodative amplitude. So you can see this is what Mother Nature does, changing the curvature, and we want to do the same thing. Let me show you the surgery and how it's done. This is me operating a standard capsule rexus, about 5 millimeters or so. We'll get the cataract out. Let's fast forward to the end of the case here. And there's the empty capsule bag. Here comes the lens. We filled the bag with viscoelastic. The lens comes in two parts. This is the base lens. It's going to fill the capsule bag completely. And it's injected nice and slowly. It's a silicon lens. It's very soft and very forgiving. It's relatively easy to implant despite the large size. And we can inject it with just the one hand completely into the capsule bag. So now we have the base lens filling the capsule bag. There's that central optic. We'll put a little more viscoelastic. And now time for the front or anterior lens. This is the lens that's fluid filled. This is our power lens. So as we implant this lens here, you'll notice it comes out and it has a yellow rim. The base lens has a blue rim. And that's to visualize them a little bit easier inside the eye. We need to couple these two lenses. So slowly inject this lens. And you'll notice right opposite my incision, there is a tab. The base lens has three tabs, 120 degrees apart. And now we need to tuck this front lens underneath those three tabs. So here's one tab, and it gets tucked in. And we do the other, and then the last one. And so these tabs hold the power lens, or the front lens, securely to the base lens. And this allows them to be coupled inside the eye. So there you go. Through a standard FACO incision, we're able to implant this lens using your normal techniques. The end of the case here will seal up the incision, and now we'll remove viscoelastic. We're going to use a bimanual approach just because it's easier to get into all those little nooks and crannies to have a thorough removal of viscoelastic. So the surgery is that easy. I did the first one again in 2015 in Panama, almost eight years ago. These are the results of the GRAIL study. That's the LensGen Juvene lens. 58 eyes of 42 subjects were implanted, so plenty of bilateral patients. At the end of 24 months, there were 27 eyes that were able to be recalled and evaluated. We did lose a good number due to COVID, and this gave us the following results. Monocular distance corrected defocus curves. So when you correct the juvenile patients for far distance vision, the total economy of amplitude is about 3.5 diopters. That's from plus 150 to minus 2. That's certainly more than the Vividi lens, which is an extended at the focus lens, and double the amount of a monofocal lens, such as a ZC Boo. This gave pretty good vision, 20-20 distance, 20-32 intermediate, 20-40 near vision. So patients were quite happy with that. When you look at bilateral data, binocular data, it's even better, an extra diopter. In the binocular studies, even though there are only eight patients, this was four and a half diopters of total range, from approximately plus two to minus 250. That's for 2016 distance, 2025 intermediate, and 2040 near. And yes, none of these patients were left myopic. They were all best corrected for distance vision. So that's certainly very useful accommodative range. Importantly, the quality of vision was amazing. The contrast sensitivity was neck and neck with a great quality lens like a Technus ZC Boo monofocal. So beautiful visual qualities here. And we asked patients about subjective experience. They were all very happy. A couple noted some blurry vision, perhaps dry eye, but there was zero glare, halo, starburst, or distortion. Absolutely zero, because we're not splitting the light. It's truly a clean optic. The safety compromise of most IOLs are eliminated with this. Remember, with our normal flat planar lens, when the capsule bag contracts, the ELP can change, the lens can shift or tilt, you can get PCO, rotation, but with the Juvene, you fill the capsule bag completely, so you eliminate those issues. 
In addition, importantly, you eliminate vitro retinal tension because you're not collapsing the capsular bag. So really quite an advance over what we're used to seeing with standard IOL technologies, especially with no PCO. We all love doing YAG laser once in a while, but it really is a complication of surgery. And the Juvene studies, both the pilot and grill studies, there was zero PCO seen because we filled the capsular bag completely. So the future definitely is an accommodating IOL. Great image quality and range, three plus diopters without glare and halos, great image quality. A capsule filling design, a different way of thinking now. By filling the bag, we eliminate vitreous shift, we keep the lens position stable, you get more accurate lens calc because there's less effective lens position change, there's no tilt, you limit or even eliminate the PCO risk. And then finally, it's a modular design. So you can still use small incisions and the lens is upgradable. You can have a toric version of this lens and any other design you wish. So I think the future for sure is a comedy of IOLs and hopefully when it's time for my cataract surgery in 10 or 20 years, there'll be a fantastic lens like this that'll restore me to more youthful vision. Thanks for watching.